Happy Sunday! Okay, so um, I am doing a little bit of a mix today. I'm going to do a weekly favorites and then I'm also going to throw in my monthly favorites. I was kind of pondering if I wanted to do a weekly, I mean a monthly favorites, but there are some requests from you guys that said to go ahead and do it and so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in on the last um, of my weekly favorites. So this is a combination of both what I love throughout the week and then what I love throughout the month. And then also um, I'm going to put in things I've regret put regretted purchasing that I purchased um, because I don't know it just didn't work out for me but I can't say it's not going to work out for you. I'm just giving you my opinion. Anyway so I'm going to start with my weekly favorites slash monthly favorites. And um, you only get like a monthly here, it's once a month, of course, but um, let me go ahead and put this over here. You'll kind of just see what I have been using and what I haven't been using and what I like and what I don't like. So this is a basket of my um, favorites. Um, there's a few things that I've talked about in the past few weeks of what I have liked and what I have not liked. What I have not liked, I did not put in here, only things that I have liked. So, does that make any sense? Anyway, so the first thing that's sitting on top here is the Garnier Fruit Toys Fruit Fruitis Fortifying Shampoo. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, for one. Um, I like this one. I, I really do like the concept of this because this is the Hydro Recharge. But, um, I think I like the other one a lot better and I don't know where the bottles are because I think I went through all of them and I have these left. Anyways, these have like little bubbles that have like little blue things. If you don't wash your hair, I don't know if you could see it. So you can kind of see it's like an oxi oxidized um, product with air in it and it's got little scrubby be beads that you would see like in, um, you know like the full exfoliating uh, body washes. God, I can't talk today. I apologize. Um, but these um, these products, this product has these little beads in it, and if you don't wash your hair out very well, then these are not going to come out of your hair. So um, I do like this product. It gets my hair really clean, squeaky clean, gets all the gunk out. But I just don't like this one particular, the oxygen um, hydro recharge one. So yeah. So it's not a negative, it's just saying that I like the brand, it's just not that style. Uh, second thing is the Got To Be Guardian Angel. This is a heat protectant up to 425. Um, I found this through someone on YouTube and I used to not really like it a lot, but then I started liking it because the snow was starting to bother me. But now I have actually been liking it and that is one of my favorites. I can't really say if it's a holy grail, but um, I can say that I, I do like it. Moving on to body scrubs. This is a Tree Tea, Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub. Um, this one's in the Tropical Mango. I've actually finished it up. I have another one, which is the Kiwi Lime or Lime. It's like a blue one. And it's sitting in my shower. And I love this product. This stuff gets my skin feeling really soft. And the smell stays on my skin for... You know, like a day until you take another shower, but I really like this. I have like so many of these and I'll just continue buying them. They're so cheap. You buy them at Walmart for like five or six bucks and this is the bonus size so I got more for, for my money. Next thing is a oldie but a goodie and I always talk about this. This is the Crest 3D. Lux um, Glamorous White Toothpaste. Um, since I've used this, my teeth has gotten whiter. Um, I don't know if they've gotten wider than what they started at, but I have to say that this is one of the best tooth toothpaste out there um, on the market. Next is my MAC Cleanse Off Oil. This is what I've been using for my eyes. I'm still getting through it. Um, I've really been debating about buying a big one right away because they have free shipping on MAC. So, um, I thought about purchasing a big one. I really like this stuff. Um, it's definitely something I would invest in. I think a full price is like $30, so it is kind of spendy. But, you know, if it's a product that you think that's going to work for you, then I would say go for it. But, yeah, the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. 
Uh, we have a hair mask. This is the Mystic Divine Argon, Argon Manila Oils. Um, I actually just finished this up. There's a little bit up on the top there so you can kind of see it. Um, but I really like this stuff. Um, this needs to go on my empty, so I'm not going to evolve around it for a long period of time. But this stuff, I mean, it's just like any mask. It smells really good. Um, and it stays in your hair. The smell of it stays in your hair for a long period of time. Um, the Glam... Who makes this? Organic nutrients and vitamins, paraben and alcohol free. Um, G and G Hair Glam. I bought this at Ulta um, for four bucks. Um, and it's a little egg sh shape. I didn't think that I was going to get a lot of uses out of it because um, it's so small. But you only need just a tiny bit and when I was using this before I cut my hair um, I still was using only a little bit and it smells like chocolate so if you like the smell of chocolate um, then I definitely would um, look into this I don't know if they sell it anymore but it's chocolate cream for anti frizz shine my hair did shine afterwards and it did smell so good um, the Freeman uh, peel off mask in pomegranate. This stuff smells really good. I've been using these as a weekly, um, like a weekly spa day, I guess you could say. Um, I definitely can see the dead skin cells come off when you use this. It is like super glue. Um, I bought it just for like maybe five dollars at Ulta. Um, I used to buy this stuff at Walmart the longest time ago. It, it was the green one, it was like a Cucumber, I think it was cucumber, um, and they just don't sell it anymore. I can't find it at any of my Walmarts anywhere. Um, I can't even find it at Target, which is really strange. Um, I think I found it once at Walgreens, but it's something I used to use before, like years ago, um, but just not the pomegranate one, which is what I really, really like um, because of the smell. But I think they both do the same thing. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, they they do honestly the same thing. So. Um, this is a go. If you want something that's going to take away, like, dead skin, then that's something that I would look into. Um, the Clinical Secret Strength Deodorant. This is just a little mini one. Um, I like this one. There's another one that I've been using. It's in it's a clinical as well. Um, I've actually been going towards the clinical. I don't have an issue with sweating, but, um, they just, they have the best smell and they don't intervene with your perfume so you can put this on and it has a light scent but when you put your perfume on or your hair or stuff you're not gonna get um, a mixture of compete competition of the smells so if that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about um, I have I think I just have one of these left I had a few of these for backups because it came two in a pack um, but I really like that you can still kind of smell clean underneath your armpits um, and then still not have to worry about sweat but not have it intervening, intervening with your perfume or body stuff or whatever you're using. Um, Bath and Body Works Moonlight Path Body Butter. This is just a little mini one. I've been using this for, you know, a little while um, here and there. I, I, I got this out of a set for Christmas for my mother-in-law and I didn't think I would really like it but you know using it throughout you know months and here and there um, I found that I actually have started liking it a lot better um, it definitely stays on and it does leave your skin very soft um, I don't know if it's just the ones that are in the little tubs because I don't really get that same effect for the ones that are in the squeezy tubes but it's a lot thicker and I'm actually almost done with it so it kind of gives you an idea but it's definitely a product to look into um moving on to lips I'm, I'm just all over the place so excuse me there is the CO Bigelow Rose Cell number 12 and it looks like this um, it's in a smell of like, it's in the scent of rose and um, it does have a strong scent so if you're not into the rose smelling items then this may not be for you but I actually use it before I go to bed so I generally fall asleep so it doesn't bother me. I have 
you know, just a little bit I've used out of it, but I've used this for a month and that's how much I've used. I use a cotton swab so I don't stick my fingers in it. Anyways, I bought this at Bath and Body Works, I think. Yeah, I think I bought this at Bath and Body Works because um, it says $5.50 on the back side. Um, I think you could buy this at Sephora and then maybe Victoria's Secret. I'm not sure. But when I wake up in the morning after using this, I do find that my lips are a lot softer and smoother and it's cold now so you're not I'm not seeing that there's dead skin remaining on my lips in the morning so yeah um macadamia oil this is just a little one I got um from Ulta and it's like 0 0.34 3 4 fluid ounces it was still expensive it was like nine dollars um for this little one um in my opinion, that's expensive, but I really like this product. Um, it makes my hair really smooth and really soft. Um, I don't know, it's just an overall good product. Um, I looked into purchasing the big one, but for the price of it right now, it's like 40 bucks. Um, I'm not yet going to invest in it until I get through all of my oils. And then two more things left on favorites is out of the random parents' choice. These are the all-purpose soft cloths face, hands, and body. So these are not baby wipes. Um, these have a little pop-up little thing, so you just get the wipe out of there. I use these for cleaning up the sink and when I'm done with makeup. I use them for, um, like clean up swatches off my hand, things like that. And then finally, the Burt's Bees Toner. I've noticed that my face has gotten a lot more softer. Um, my like, how would you say that? My skin has the regained the pH balance, so definitely that is a plus. Okay, moving on to products that I did not like. Now these are products that I've accumulated over the past few months, I guess you could say, um, and I just put them in here. These are just a few. There's other products, but I'm throwing them away. And some people said they wanted to see products that I didn't like. So um, I have them in this little Bath and Body Works bag because it's the only bag that I could find floating around because I had so many of these bags. I don't know why. I just collected them for some reason. So, yeah. Alright, so the first thing that is just hanging out is this Listerine Whitening Multi-Action Whitening Rinse Vibrant Four Times Whitening Power Whitens Teeth Safely. So it looks like this. It's a big bottle. I always said I wasn't going to buy big bottles, but I did. Um, if you want to see it up close, this is what it looks like. Um, I don't like this stuff. <laughs> That's almost all I can say about it. No, um, okay. So, the first con about this stuff is that it has, um, peroxide. There you go. I guess I should have, should have looked at it. Um, peroxide is the second ingredient. Now the reason why I say peroxide, the reason I don't like peroxide is because when I was using this and I, I tried to get through it, I think I've got like half of it left um, and I've tried to give it to my husband and I don't think he likes it either. Anyways, so the peroxide. So the peroxide inside of it is so strong, like it literally feels like I'm swishing my mouth out with a bottle of peroxide. Um, I don't know, I just don't like that taste. I don't like this, the, um, the flavor of it. Um, it's got a bad flavor. It doesn't, it doesn't, what's, it doesn't uh, taste anything minty. Um, so, oh, it's clean mint. It doesn't, it doesn't at all taste any clean mint. And my mom, um, when I was younger, well, when I lived at home, this was years and years and years ago, she'd use peroxide. And I'd use it for open cuts, and that kind of like brings back those memories of the bad taste of peroxide. And then the second thing is it um, has alcohol, 8%. Now, um, alcohol is not really a bad thing for you, but when you have braces, alcohol in any uh, mouthwash, mouth rinse, uh, toothpaste, anything, even probably drinking. I haven't drank since I had my braces on, actually. Anyways. Short story is when you put alcohol in your mouth and you have braces, and this may not be for everybody, but for me it was, is my braces sometimes causes nicks on the backs of my um, my gums, 
in my lips and so when alcohol hits it it's like pouring salt in an open wound so um that's the reason why i don't like this um i can't really say that it did anything good for my teeth um because i was using my regular toothpaste that you saw in the previous likes of this video but um, it's definitely something I probably should have looked at the label a lot better. Um, I may have just thought it was something new because I've tried so many mouthwashes because it's a new look. So that might be it. And I thought I didn't think I saw anything that said alcohol in it, but it's got alcohol in it. So this is a no-go. Sorry for that long intro. Long explanation, actually. Um, second thing is some soap. So I've got three soaps. And there's a story about these soaps. So I have the Sweet Clementine, the Kitchen Lemon, and the Lemon Meringue Cheer. So these are all foam in, uh, soaps from Bath & Body Works. I'm not saying that Bath & Body Works has horrible soaps and that they should never, ever, like, make these. But um, I broke out from two of them, and that's the lemon ones. And I didn't even think about it, but I used to break out from soap for laundry that had lemon in it. So these are a no-go. Um, and then I noticed also at the end of these, and which is are pretty new, I got these around Christmas time. This one, and actually I got all of these around Christmas time. But I noticed that, which there's still a little bit left in it, um, towards the end, like when there's about probably this much left on it, um, it would like it would stop foaming so when I squirted it out um, it would be all liquidy and I noticed that with all of these so I don't know if it's like a new formulation and now they're doing that but um, I'm, I think I have just a few of these foam and sam soaps left and then I have like the gel ones but I'm not gonna buy the foam soap anymore um, I, I never had a problem with them before and then now I am so sorry and then, you know, that's just my opinion. I mean, everybody, you know, has their own opinion to express about things. But, you know, if that's happening to you, let me know as well so that I don't think it's just my bad batch from my area. All right, moving on to hair and face. So I have a hair product. This is the dry shampoo. Um, and this is... These products that I said that I don't like either um, and would not repurchase, I'm not putting them in my empties. Also, just to let you know because I've already talked about them. Anyways, so for hair, Swap Professionals Dry Shampoo Spray, Salon Proven to refresh hair as well as, well as Renee Fruitier, Fruitier, Fruitier? Based on salon test and using Renee Fruitier Natural, Naturala Dry Shampoo. Oh, okay. Well, I don't read the small print, but this is what it looks like. Let's see. This is close. There's the container. And um, this is a five ounce dry shampoo. I have a few dry shampoos, and um, it took a little while to get through. But it, um, I think that this actually caused me to have an allergic reaction because I was always itching. My hair was always itching. Um, I distribute it just like it says I combed it through I rat tailed my hair for volume I did everything possible to have this work for me and it did leave a dry cast of white so um, I have I had red hair at the time it's now darker but I can only imagine if I was using this now this just didn't work um, for me um, it may have been I had an allergic reaction to it I, I'm not sure but I don't feel that it absorbed the oil like it said. Um, it just pretty much felt clean for a short time, like a short time meaning like an hour, and then went back to oily feeling here, but worse, like 10 times worse. So, no go. And then the last product for my regrets is the L'Oreal Youth Code Serum Intense. This is, um, see the front of it right there. This is a serum for your face. Um, I really didn't see how this did anything for me. I mean, I still didn't see any results. Um, this stuff was expensive. I mean, for a serum, it was like $18 maybe? Um, I mean, in my opinion, for $18 it should work. It lasted a long time because you don't need a lot of this, 
but this is a product that didn't work for me. Um, and again, it might work for you, but it may not work for you. Let's see if we can get it. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Anyways, um, so this product just didn't work for me. Um, something I wouldn't repurchase. I have a few serums I'm actually using now. And if those work, I will let you know. So anyways, that is everything for my regrets and my favorites for January. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.